It's not a bad idea. Okay, we're just we're just gonna go with this. I guess the windswept just just had enough. Let's pause. So I feel like I was supposed to come here a long time ago. I mean, judging by the fact <laughs> Oh it it had a high threat level, so I figured it would be dangerous. I was wrong. Oh, this is just... This is bullying. Okay. I am just going to... port some resources here. I really probably should have thought about this a bit better, but you know what? Whatever, it's fine. Let's see. Anything else? Oh, right, right, right. Extraction outpost. This is... Is it? Eh, it kind of is. Where are you pointed? Hell if I know. We're going to the salt flats. No, this isn't the one that I was thinking of. I should come back and modernize this place. No, what's the one? Car fields. There we go. Okay, so let's go back to the salt flats. Let's take a look. So I should have a decent amount of supplies. The one immediate problem I'm noticing is just an utter lack of defensible areas. This is very much this giant super wall. Nothing more. That said, I'm a thousand times more dangerous than my enemies are. Where... Okay, there's there's my core. Let's start with the obvious. Schematic. I want to get Quick Air Factory. Oh, they even start moving with some large solar panels. Convenient. Kind of convenient. Okay. So now I have to decide how the heck I'm going to get at this one, because it's kind of a messy map. Right. Well, we got that together. Uh, huh. Let's pause for a second. Let's even take a look at this. What do they have? They've got nothing. I honestly... You know what I'm going to do? We're just going to get an unloader. I'm going to pass that. I should probably do some other things. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be the tutorial map for invasions, but uh, since it had a higher difficulty rating, I just never bothered because it didn't... Oh, no. Well, that's the goof. Not a big one, but it's a goof. Okay, I'm just gonna set this up. We're gonna we're gonna try and just like absolute power strats this one. What is the range they will shoot me at? Like right here ish. All right, so we want ripple, ripple, and a swarmer. There we go. Like I said, absolute power strats this one. So here's a question. I have the oh no. Can I plunk the oh no down anywhere? It doesn't look like it, so it looks like I'm going to have to source my power elsewhere. Yeah. With a name like Salt Flats, I don't really know what I was expecting. Well, here's the thing. Do we just go big solar? Requires phase fabric, but I've I've got phase fabric now. If there's a higher tier one, there is. Just 
just gonna put that here. Okay, so we want to do power, go back up to this power node. Extend. Everything is good. Look at him go. Oh, look at that. Unintentional gritting. Okay, so they, they hit me a smidge. And by that I mean like a very small smidge. So, where is their base? Oh, I guess I wrecked it. Okay, well, here's the thing. I can just get a bunch of these down. We're just gonna put holes in his base. Cause he's he's got nothing. He is not he's not prepared for this level of guns. I this is what happens when you are over leveled. Oh. I guess these these hails have just a smidge more range than I thought they would. Let's just get rid of that before that burns. This, these are super rude. Those are hails. Holy shit, I never realized hails had this level of range. I guess I kind of did, but damn. What do they fire? Graphite, pyrotite, and silicon. That's why I never really used them. I used them in that, like, initial level, but they've got just as much range as the, uh, the big guys. Okay, maybe not quite as much. But for small guns, with lower resource costs, that's pretty good. Let's see, I'm gonna pull that back. let it get distracted by spare walls. Because if I can let them, if I can get them to run out of ammo, I will be a happy camper. Okay, there we go. Put those real quick. Repair projector so this wall doesn't go down. Please stop hitting my guns. Thank you. Please burn. Also, thank you. Okay, so where's their core? Well, big benefit. He doesn't seem to really have a whole lot more of those defensive structures. Oh. But it doesn't seem to have a lot of... Ugh. Alright, fine. We go back down. Are these done? These look to be done. Okay, switch these to flares. There we go. Get rid of this, I don't need the coal. Okay. There we go, this should be working. Okay. I'm gonna just tell these to attack. And we're gonna figure this out. I think 
It's actually, I'm just going to tear this up. We are going to make a bigger flight setup. Still don't have enough face fabric for that. Ugh. Well, I should have waited. Alas. Okay, so we want an air factory, an additive reconstructor, a multiplicative reconstructor. Okay, so if you're going to do flares, we need silicon, silicon, and... Okay, silicon, silicon, and graphite. Metaglass, and... Is that titanium? Okay. I'm trying to get it so it'll it'll sit just on the side of the foundation, so I don't have to think about it any further. I'm gonna move it back by a bit, just so I can just so I can belt spaghetti this. Okay. Silicon, silicon and graphite. Let's just put that over there. Okay, so you are silicon, graphite, metaglass, titanium. And then I'm going to put it in an overdriver. And a power node. There we go. It's probably not the best, and we're going to have to update this design later, but... Uh, Now we got a T3 air factory that I can just plunk down whenever I need need to. Only immediate problem is I should have moved it over just a smidge. Okay, do that. And hopefully we don't end up with the blast compounds. Oh. Okay, I was apparently off by one. I think I can make this work. <laughs> right, because I'm used to my new cores being five wide. Okay, so let's get rid of those. Get rid of that. So we need... That's just graphite. Okay, so I'm going to have to use purple belt for this one there. Uh, I always forget to do this. I almost kind of wish these would default to just nothing in them. And not start going until it specifically said like, hey, this resource. Okay, so this should still give me enough space for the overdriver and for the power. You're set to flares. What is your problem? Oh. Problem is I got rid of all power in this area. Alright. I think that'll do. Save schematic as... D3 Air Factory... Replace it. Cool. It works better. It's not going to have the biggest output, because, but considering how long everything takes to build, I think this is fine. We're also very low on power. Unsurprising, I never actually connected this. Oh, now I'm thinking about it. Here's the other thing I can do. I can speed it up.
There we go. Because this way it gets the it gets the booster. Though, how are we doing on power? Not the hottest because it's nighttime. How much power is this putting out? It's actually putting out a decent amount despite the fact that it is nighttime. I think the real compliment to this would actually just be get a bunch of batteries down. All right, there we go. Well, do I already have two Zeniths just running around? I guess I do. Well, let me take a look. Pretty sure I'm not going to be able to park a Ripple outside his base, but it doesn't look like there's going to be much left, so I'm just going to let them go. Well, let's see. If I wanted to be cheeky, get a additive reconstructor. Get rid of those two. rid of all these trash defenses. I don't need them. I mean, they're cute. But really not that helpful. So here's the question. Yeah, I guess I could do this with a ground factory. Now I'm thinking about it. Okay, let's get a T3 air factory down. Get rid of these trash defenses. Okay, schematics, T3 air factory. Except for the air factory. Okay, because we want to do this with the ground factory. Which needs... Oh, which one do we get? Dagger, Mace Fortress, probably. Yeah, we want the Fortress. So, start with the Dagger. Dagger's going to need the lead. Yeah, no two ways around it. I'm going to have to have another unloader here. in. Look that up. Look that up. Okay. Yeah, I want to be able to just plunk these down whenever I want. And once we start habitually using the bigger bigger cores. Oh, there they go. That's a fortress. Alright. What is his range? Not amazing. Alright. I'm just gonna let him go. I think these guys should be fine. They're a little slow. But they don't need to be amazingly fast. How are you guys doing? Why did... Oh, did we win? I I guess this was unnecessary. Okay. Now, I have an idea. Let's tear these up now that we've now that we've completed them and I can plop plunk them down whenever I want. My thoughts are holy shit, we have a lot of these. Uh My thoughts are I could probably well we got a couple of things we should do first. First and foremost, still don't have enough phase fabric. That's something I want to work on. Now I want to look over here. Water extractor. Extracts with groundwater, used in locations with no available water, and oil extractor. Large amounts of power, sand and water to drill for oil. Cool. So it looks like next order of business we have to go to the end. Ooh, Quadra. Modified duo with double the fire rate. Buckshot shells at enemies. Brass Haven. Ooh, 
Multi-threat. Discharge energy bolts at rapid rate. Capable of targeting airborne enemies. Sun flare. Slow scorching hard hitting energy beam. What else do we got? Urchison fires a persistent laser beam at nearby enemies. Or as coolant to operate. Large single target bolts over long distances. Powerful entry level rapid fire railgun capable of dishing out consistent high damage. Okay, I'm gonna need titanium carbine for some of those. Damaging damages and destroys incoming projectiles. Laser projectiles are not targeted. I'm just gonna unlock as many of these as I can as I go by. Oh, let's see, Hellseeker. Simple missile launcher has a huge range. Ooh. Very high rate of fire consumes a lot of ammo. <laughs> How much surge alloy am I sitting on? Not much. I've been stocking it up for ages, but holy crap, we're out of titanium. Okay. So let's go back. 210. We didn't do anything here, did we? Yeah. 210 ranks is pretty damn boring. It's like no titanium. Huh. Picking stuff back up again doesn't actually give me the titanium back. It's just gone. I thought it gave me resources back. Alas. So, this would be an amazing map for an amazing map for making Surge Alloy and Titanium. Let me let me find Windswept. Okay, I'm just going to point this back at, at 210. How much I'm going to be able to do here though well I think I think what I'm gonna do let's go back to grand zero which is kind of emptying out the main thing is if I don't have a whole lot of resources being pointed in this specific direction it's just going to default back to these original resources I really wish I could filter out coal Do I want to do that? Maybe I should. Because how many resources are there that I could send? Four, six, nine. Yeah, let's do it. Instead of sending superfluous resources like coal along, or sand, Let's just make it send only the resources that I actually care to send. Okay, this one's... Let's actually make this one the graphite one. Okay, and this way we'll know which, which ones we actually need to stock up. So the answer is, well, what I should do, go back here. Let's see, am I actually, yes. I'm gonna point everything back at ground zero. I kind of liked the, the pattern that I had rolling earlier, but it wasn't actually very effective. Okay. I've just been wondering forever how to optimize my setup better. And I think this is the way to do it. Uh, let's see. How much with you? Okay. You're going back to ground zero proper. Our fields. There we go. Because realistically, I think I'm only ever going to need one launch pad 
freely. Or, oh, I don't know. I don't know how many launch pads I'm going to need. Oh, Ruinous Shore is the one I'm not really utilizing particularly well. Is ever, if I remember right, this one is a bit of a scrap haven. Yeah, it's got it's got a lot of resources that I'm I never properly utilized. I'll probably think about it for later. Because yeah, trying to get this place actually functional is going to be tough. And I'm just not sure if I need it. Yeah, I'd have to I'd have to tear this whole thing apart and make something new. Okay. Well, at least I can clear this out. Looks like the big issue big issue is titanium. And we've got a couple of big issues. Well, do we do it anyway? Ground zero. So looking at this, we need more Surge Alloy. Silicon looks like it's coming in at a consistent pace. Uh, yeah, we definitely have like zero phase fabric coming in here. No Surge Alloy. No minimal Plastanium. Okay. Switch you to graphite. What resources are we looking good on? Who am I sending? I'm. I just realized I'm sending. What? Three whole lines of graphite. Maybe I don't need to send that on silicon. That's what. That's what I should be sending here. Okay, cool. So, much more organized and much more sensible. We know exactly what we need to send on now, or collect more of. Which is... Well, I guess not necessarily graphite. Now, is this the maximum core? Yes, it is. We can't go any bigger with this. Actually, it really looks like we've bankrupted on... couple of these. Yeah, graphite is slowed down to a crawl. I'll make it work. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's just point all of this stuff at ground zero. Because once again, I really, I really truly think I'm only ever going to need like one of these resource collection zones. Anything more than that is, is uh, not wasteful, but I'm just not going to use that many resources. I guess the other thing I would do is maybe have a second one to use as a launch pad. Oops, that's not the right. There we go. So whenever, whenever I want to send off an assault, I would pick that other planet. But I think the trick with that would just be, mm, yeah, I don't know. It would have to be one map that can produce every resource in decent quantities. Which actually might be 133. Maybe. The only problem is I'm using it for a lot of other stuff. Okay. Like a lot of other stuff. We're doing power-wise here. We're doing amazingly. This map is just right and proper big. Let's see. So Fungal Pass has nothing. Uh, you know what? At this point, 
there's no benefit in keeping all these defenses with fungal pass. There's nothing that threatens this area. And who knows? Maybe... Maybe my enemies will actually, like, start responding. I would actually love to play a more dynamic campaign of Mindustry. Like, or Mindustry. It is apparently Mindustry. Uh, but, like, a more dy dynamic campaign of this. Maybe smaller planets, faster tech tree... Uh, or maybe not smaller planets, but very much like a, a heavy back and forth between you and your foes. Because I think that could actually be really cool. Where they're attacking back just as much. I don't know. I... I guess I'm, I'm... It's been a while since I think I've played a proper RTS. And so some part of me is just like, man, I kind of miss it. Okay, let's... Let's just clear this whole everything out. So what is going on in here? Well, I've got these military factories, which I do not need. Let's see. Reconnect everything. Yeah, we don't need you. The only only problem is this map is particularly thick. So it's going to make it a little tough, or a little thick, sorry, a uh, little dense. So it's going to make it particularly tough getting in here and actually getting any resources out. I thought I reconnected that. Uh, it's fine. Okay, I, I guess not. I'm just gonna do that. Uh, let's see. Well, barring anything, let's. I'm just gonna increase the titanium production on this map. Because it, it did seem like we needed more titanium. Let's see, do we scale this up? Kind of. What we do... Is get a distributor out here. Historically, those have always been pretty convenient for me. Okay. That's a bit more. And then I'm just gonna... Put a launch pad here. Okay, you go to ground zero. It's not the best. Like, what the heck else am I even going to use any of this for? Do I grab some of the graphite? I mean, I should. because I'm pretty much never going to look at this map again. There's some more resources I could probably s snag, but why? Ah, uh, there we go. We're headed to ground zero. I think everything else is uh, just inconvenient. I guess there's like a handful of titanium spots, but... Let's see, do we do anything else here? If these guys get the resources back. Hmm. 
have no idea. All right, whatever. It's fine. Okay, craters is good. Windswept. Biomass. Point you away from the salt flats. Back to ground zero. Right, because this is one of the other slag lines that I was working with, which I really could scale up if I needed to or wanted to. Okay, you're pointed at ground zero. Oh, Desolate Rift. We've still got a couple of locations that I haven't even looked at or been to. Just the one. Is it the tar fields? It is the tar fields. Okay, so what is your issue? Lead. Well, here's the other option. Oh. Do we not have any type? Oh, okay. This is amusing. All right, let's get rid of that. This ain't gonna help me. I have no titanium on this map actually going into the core. Which means I'm gonna have to use this stuff. Semi-wastefully. Okay. Can I do this? I can. But we're going to need a junction on both of these. I'm just going to route just a smidge of titanium in. There we go. So now we've got titanium rolling in. I'm probably not going to use it for much on this map. But it'll use it for some things. Uh, let's see. This actually would not be a terrible map. Uh, it's dense, though. Let me take a look. It's dense and doesn't have a whole lot of resources. There's an amount of titanium in the upper sections, but that's about it. Well, let's take a look at Ground Zero. How you doing? So big issues look to be, well, we're actually looking good on Phase Fabric. We're looking better. I think, I wonder if this doesn't launch as much. when I'm looking away. One way or another, I think Face Fabric, Surge Alloy, and Plastanium are the three that I'm specifically going to need to get more of before we go too far. So let's take a look at Salt Flats. What do you got for me? This is map. Not a lot of scrap metal. Not a lot of anything. Problem is I'm effectively... Well, here. Can we... So we could go back to Impact 8. I was thinking... Nuclear Production Complex was actually really tempting when I was there. Oh. That's a neat thing. So apparently my blueprints that involve the core carry over. Unfortunately, I don't have nearly enough stuff. Well, let me go back to ground zero and just tell these to not. Damn it. Yeah, they're all, they're all just going to be launching to salt flats regardless.
to map the code. It was ruinous shores. Let's let's go back here. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably cut here. I'm gonna go fix up the ruinous shores, just kind of on my own. Cause it's th I said this area specifically could be amazing. It's got a huge supply of scrap in multiple locations that we absolutely could utilize to just make tons and tons of resources. Uh, we just haven't because. You know, limited resources, limited time, limited a lot of things. And so if I can turn this into my staging ground, where I effectively never send resources on from here, but it uses all of the materials from the scrap uh, to just slowly accrue. That way, every, every single time I finish a map, I can just launch from here. Holy shit, this gets a lot of resources quick. All right. Well, first and foremost... I'm going to start with my air factory. That's the wrong one. Okay. Question. I'm going to I'm going to try and modernize this one. Let's see if this works. Yep. Now it actually is quick. There we go. All right, cool. Well, I'll see you on the other side. This is going to take a while. And like, I could talk over this stuff, but I don't need to. There's just an ounce of... Oh, this includes belts. I had no idea the overdriver increased belt speed. Okay, that's a question. Well, I don't know. Anyway, like I was saying, see you next time. Thanks for watching.